So welcome to the third part of our four part series on file system objects. Today we're going to build some code that uses both the file object and the file system object to cycle over all of the files in a given folder and to print out their file name to the immediate window. Before we start, let's actually take a look at what's in the folder we're going to be working with. We can see we've got a PDF two workbooks and a text file. We've also got a subfolder in there as well. Now let's try running our code. And when we look in the immediate window, we'll see a list of each of the file names for those files printed to the immediate window. Let's actually get started with building that code then. The next task for our code is to cycle over all of the files in the folder and to print out the file name to the immediate window. How are we going to do this? We're going to start by declaring a scripting.file object. We're going to say dim file counter as scripting.file. Now I've called it file counter because we will be using it as a loop counter in a for each loop. And we use for each file counter in ever so object dot get folder. So the get folder method will return a folder object from the scripting library. And we want to get folder from the folder name. And then we want to return the files collection from that folder object. And this will be a collection of file objects from the scripting library that are part of the folder object that we are returning from get folder. And we're going to use next file counter. And within this for each loop, we are going to print out the file name of each file object. So our code looks like debug.print ever so object dot get file name. And the path that we're going to put in is file counter dot path. Okay. We compile our code and then we're just going to run that using the F5 key. We open up the immediate window and we can see that we still get the two full file paths that we have constructed. We can see the message saying that the copy file does not already exist. And then we're getting a list of each of the files within the folder. We are not getting a list of the subfolders within that folder and it does not traverse within to those subfolders. It just shows us all of the files in the folder that we've selected. We'll clear out the immediate window, close that down. And as a last couple of steps, we're just going to clean up our code a little bit. We're going to set file counter to nothing. And let's print out a debug.print before copying the file. So again, just compile that, run it using the F5 key, and open up the immediate window with Control and G. We see the output's a little more tidier this time. It's shown us exactly the same thing as before, just with the extra message saying what the desktop folder contains. Let's clear that out and close it down. And that's it for how to cycle over the files within a given folder and how to get the file name from the file path using the file object. Mm -hmm.